Ray tracing is the closest technique we have available to modeling the way light behaves in reality. With new technologies, we are really trying to burrow down to how light behaves in the real world and simulate real lighting as accurately as possible. One of the new technologies we're implementing in collaboration with NVIDIA is the RTX uh, technology, which is a, a new technology that hasn't been seen before on PC. The first version I saw was, was one of our first prototypes in development, and what it was immediately obvious is how all those shadow mapping artifacts that we're used to seeing, how they all disappeared. It's fully mimicking the actual physical reality with all that detail that we really could never have seen before in a realistic way. Uh, we notice how much details we could get out of all the reflective surfaces in the game. For a game to run this in real time, we will need an incredible amount of those kind of computations. That was not previously possible with conventional PC hardware. NVIDIA's uh, engineers have been working side by side with engineers on, on my team and we really feel like we are this one team that's pushing uh, the boundaries of Battlefield 5. For years we thought about uh, the day when uh, to see that kind of graphics uh, would have been uh, possible. And it uh, looks like that uh, now the, the gamers uh, will have the chance uh, to have that kind of experience that for years has been limited only to the uh, post-processing renderings, uh, cinematics and so on. It makes our games look better, it makes our content that we do for the games look better without adding cost also to the game developer. RTX also makes it easier for us to develop our games. We can use the ray tracing functionality in our production pipelines, making it faster for us to iterate, making it possible for us to do better content more quickly. So all of that just helps us to kind of really make visually really, really distinct games, but get more of that detail in there and take a little bit of the workload away from the lighting artists who can then just kind of focus on more sort of fine tuning things and, and where it really does matter. There's so many features in graphics technology like, like ambient occlusion and shadows and reflections and lots of algorithms like that and they all can benefit from ray tracing to be more realistic, more correct. Uh, and I think we'll, as we experiment more with ray tracing, it's just brand new, but the more we start using it, the more we'll find other visual effects that benefit from it and will become possible. This is the future. We are going to be using this. Everybody is going to be using this in a few years. This is as big a step as when we went over to physically-based lighting and image-based lighting. This is how the future is evolving.